So I don't know how many of you but are aware, but we are in the middle of a uh, mass extinction of species right now, but we still uh, uh, don't understand the, co the consequences of this uh, widespread loss of species. We can uh, describe and depict ecological networks Ecosystems like a uh, network of species interacting with each other via predatory links and the study of uh, food web, which is this network of species, is based on these uh, matrices, metrics. But the problem with these metrics is that they don't give us uh, a lot of information about a single node, but just of the general structure of the network. So this is my wall and uh, my, uh, my suggestion to break it is to use uh, w what is uh, called network theory, which developed its own, its own uh, uh, matrix, uh, like this one, that can give us information about a specific node in the network. I will show you an example. I, uh, this is the cat's centrality, uh, which gives us an information about uh, with uh, uh, how many species a particular node that will interact. I scaled the Serengeti ecosystem food web, which is this one, for every species for its particular cast centrality. So the, uh, the size of a, of a node is uh, directly proportional to its centrality. At this point, I can ask where is a particular species, for example, the elephant. It's here, which has uh, relatively high uh, centrality and a lot of neighbors. And I, ask, I may ask also, where is uh, the lion, for example? The lion is uh, here. The important is not the position of the species in this case, but the size of the node. And we can see that the lion has a relatively uh, low cast centrality. But what's the most central species in the network? It's just a small hyrex. This is quite unpredicted, uh, unexpected from a pure ecological point of view, especially for the lion, which is a top predator. So uh, and this is just an example of the uh, new kind of information that we can, we can access through network theory. And finally, I will uh, finish my time with a consideration, which is that uh, food webs are complex systems. And uh, to study complex systems, we need a holistic approach. And uh, network theory is conveniently an holistic approach that can help us in slowing down the current extinction rate and preserve the declining biodiversity. This is just an example. It was a giant sloth, ground sloth, three meters high, that went, that went extinct some thousand years ago due to spread of Homo sapiens in South America. Question? <laughs>